This is a general lecture program. Here we are stay, uh, we are going to see a problem where it is a mainly deals with an account system. Okay, and here we need to see uh, the important terms like journal file, ledger file, and posting. Here, journal file means it is a file which contains the all transactions within a month. And the next is ledger file which contains a summary of every month's transaction which has been forwarded by your journal file. So the journal file follows or forwards the monthly transaction to your ledger file. Now posting is the process of sending monthly transactions to your ledger file. So it is an association of each transaction for an account to the ledger. Okay. Next. Here this is an example. The second table is an example of uh, journal journal file. Okay. And here we can see that we are having um, consider 101 is an account. We have repeated 101 entries in the sense these are the transactions which has occurred for that particular month. Okay. So it is making an uh, it is making an uh, entry of every uh, month okay and this is an example of ledger file where it contains the list of all transactions of all accounts okay so it contains the summary of every month okay is it clear for every month it is having an uh, uh, entry okay next here we see that uh, for clarity in our journal file, uh, the recent transactions of every account are being sorted. So, in the first itself, we see 101. Every transaction of 101 is nearby. Then comes 102, 505, etc., etc. So, for, for that particular month, it is above. And the next comes below. Okay. This is a sorted journal file. The next one is a ledger file. Okay, in the ledger file, as I've already explained, it will be having more than one account and more than one month details. Okay, and which is forwarded by your journal file. So here, in the case of one not one, we can see these are the transactions which is done by uh, by one not one for one particular month. The next one is one not two. These are the transactions done five not five, five not ten, five ten, etc. Okay, next. Here we are going to see into detail what is this posting process. Okay, the, as I have already explained, it is the process of sending a monthly transaction towards your legal uh, ledger file. Okay, here the first solution is how can I improve your program or how can I improve my posting process? How to handle my posting process? The main thing which you have to keep in your mind, in mind is we should have an index for each and every transaction. The index here is nothing but your account number. So account number acts as a key or an index for referring to a particular record which is saved inside your ledger file. Okay. Here when I am using index, we can end with many problems like we are having, we need to keep going forward and backward for checking whether the, uh, uh, for the transactions related to that account. And the second one is, um, uh, second one is it may be uh, since we can do the different transaction in different time the journals or the entries are not in order that is why it is more important to make maintain your ledger file in sorted order so that it uh, you can avoid this problem so sorting is a uh, solution for overcoming this particular problem next solution is uh, for every journal transaction also we should have account number as the key okay so that uh, we can uh, refer any transaction by using the account number so whenever we are using uh, whenever you try to handle a, a journal file and a ledger file we try to refer it by using an account number consequentially okay next so this is how a ledger uh, file will look like okay for 101 account, we are having the entries of every transaction done by that particular user in 2, 
in four so every month details will be there the next comes 102 it is again in sorted order every transactions done by 102 account similarly below next here we're going to see the goal of our program the goal of our program is we are trying to maintain a, con a constant uh, relation between both your journal file and your uh, ledger file by using the account number okay here we can tell that for in ledger program i'm having merging and in your uh, journal account i'm having match operation okay for maintaining your ledger file and journal file okay so you can tell this is a combination of both merge and match operation which i have already seen in the previous topic here we are going to see which one are the steps which you have to keep in mind when you are doing the processing of your ledger file. Okay, the first thing is whenever we are going to write a new entry inside your ledger program, we have to go back to your ledger file and we have to check the balance of an account. Okay, we have to retrieve the balance from the previous month, previous month and add it to your next month. Okay. From the previous month, you have to get the balance and add it to your next month. Second point is for each and every transaction which is done by the user, we have to always update the balance. The next one is once you come across the last transaction of for that particular month, we have to print the balance, stating that after so much transaction of that particular month, this is the balance of that particular account. So these are the main steps which we have to handle when you're considering or processing a ledger file. Next, when we are doing posting, as I already explained, posting is the process of sending the transaction details from the journal file to your uh, ledger file. These are the main things or conclusions which is handled. The first one is if the ledger account number is less than the journal transaction or the journal account number, what we have to do? First, we have to print the ledger account balance. Then we have to read the next ledger account and then we have to print that particular details if the account number is equal to both means if the ledger account is equal to the journal transaction then what we have to do that is a match case in that case we have to add the transaction amount to the account balance we'll add the transaction to the account balance then we'll print the transaction and then we'll read the next journal okay now, in this case, the third condition is if the ledger account number is greater than the journal transaction, what have to be done? In this case, it is an unmatched condition that is the entry of the that the entry of your ledger account is not a, a journal account is not available inside your ledger account. Okay, in this case, we have to print an error. Print an error message and then we go for the next transaction. Because we have a mismatch here, we are supposed to uh, print an error message and handle it. Next. So this is what the program which I have already explained now. Here we see that we are having more masters and more transactions checking whether we have an account or we have transactions existing. If it is existing, uh, if we are having it existing, in that case, the first condition is if we are going to check item 1 is less than item 2. Here, item 1 is nothing but your journal entry, uh, ledger entry, and item 2 is a journal entry. In that case, we go to process end master, that is we output the uh, ledger record, then we get the, uh, retrieve the ledger, next ledger account into more master. And then if more master is true, if we have an entry, then we again process the new master. Okay. Next is again, we are checking the condition if item 1 of ledger is equal to item 2 of journal. If it is equal, we would we will process the current master means we uh, print it. Okay. Print the details of the current one and then we do process item. That is we process the output. We, uh, again, we will uh, send it to the output file. Then we try to retrieve the next item from your journal. So next item list is nothing but your um, two is your journal file. The next one is uh, uh, item item one. Item one is nothing but your journal file, which is 
uh, uh, ledger file it is greater than your journal file in that case it is an error that is a mismatch of account number in that case we have to uh, forward an error message and we have to retrieve the next transaction from your journal file okay thank you Mm. Mm,